Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to set up the vendors for Rucksack. So let's jump right in and start by creating the actual vendor object. So I'm just going to create a new 3D object capsule and that will be our NPC. So on this I'm going to add a vendor, item vendor creator, item vendor enabler and a unit trigger, a trigger input handler and lastly, as in the previous tutorials, we're going to create a range handler child object. There we go. So just to quickly go over what all of these components do, we have the item vendor creator. This actually creates the vendor and its collection. And we can also specify the items that the vendor sells here. Then we have the enabler, which is when you click it, the player gets the right permissions to actually use the item vendor and its collection. Then we have the network identity, which defines the identity of this object. We have the trigger which allows us to click it and then we have the input handler which handles the input of the clicking. Um, and then the range handler just handles the range to the object. Okay, so the item vendor creator has a vendor GUID and a vendor collection GUID. And in the item vendor enabler we have a vendor GUID that we enable. So if we actually click the generate button we'll generate a new ID for this vendor and I'm just going to copy that one and then paste it inside the enabler. So now when this trigger is used, the enabler will allow or enable the collection with this GUID, which happens to be on the same object. Um, let's give it 10 collections. The vendor collection name will just be vendor and we'll generate an ID for that as well. Then I'm just going to assign some items that the vendor can sell. There we go. So this should work, but we don't have a UI yet. So let's create that. I'm just going to go into the canvas and create a new empty object. Here we'll add the vendor UI and the item vendor collection UI, which we assign. Oh, which we assign in here. I'm just going to call this one vendor and a prefab, which is the slot that we use to display all of the items that the vendor has to sale. So I'm just going to use the existing one which we can find as vendor slot prefab. I'm going to drag that one in. And let's create a child object that is the container which is going to contain all of the slots. Uh, let's add a grid layout group to this. And let's just put it for now, right here. And I'm just going to give the vendor an image background so we can actually see the window. And the container looks good. Now we can assign the container and the collection name that we want to display here. So make sure that the collection name on the UI matches the one set in the uh, item vendor creator. So this UI component will only display vendors of the name vendor. So you can create different UIs for different types of vendors if you wanted to. Okay, that all looks good. Um, got everything set up, so let's give it a try. So I click on the vendor, opens up the vendor window, it actually resets the window position so it's no longer on the left, but we'll fix that in a second. And I can click on them now, but we get an error here which says the item could not be bought, we do not have enough currency, which is true, we don't actually have any money right now. So let's fix the window issue real quick. So reset the position, uncheck that. And now let's make sure that our player has some, some gold in his uh, inventory so he can actually pick up the item. So we have a um, sphere here, which is a unit item pickup. So I'm just going to duplicate this one, and instead of having a unit item pickup, we're going to have a unit currency pickup. And basically, when this trigger is used, when we pick up this item, we get some currency. So let's have some golds, and we'll just give our player 100 gold. Right now, that is not displayed anywhere. Let's see. So we could add something for that real quick. So I'm just going to add a currency collection UI. 
and we need to assign our currency UI. There we go. And set that to the child, collection name. I think it's called inventory currencies, but let's check our player object real quick to make sure it's the right name. So if we click our player, we go here, we have, okay, we don't actually have a currency collection yet, so let's add it right now. Unit currency collection creator. Um, I'll call this one inventory currencies. It's a player collection and we have read and write permission. Okay, so now if we go back, we can say inventory currencies and which currencies we want to repaint, which is gold. Okay, um, that looks good. Let's add a uh, horizontal layout group on this. So the currencies inside this object will actually be, will be probably displayed in a layout. So let's place this here. Okay, so let's test it out. So I'm just gonna click these. Now we have 100 golds. Click the fender and we can buy these items. They have the same icon, but they are indeed two different item types, so they won't stack. Okay, so that's it for the vendor. Um, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.